In part one, you join me on a flight from Linden, New Jersey to Port Clinton, Ohio, and learned about the features of the Aspen Evolution 2000 Max and the EDM 900. Now, you join me on a gorgeous morning flight back to New Jersey, while I'll walk you through the rest of 84 Uniform's full glass panel upgrade. Welcome to part two. I'm Bruno, a private pilot based in New York, sharing my flying adventures around the country. Flying your own plane can open doors to incredible places, sights, and stories, and I take every flight as a unique learning experience. With safety at the center of every plan and decision, aviation has become my lifestyle, and a journey that I share to this channel, one flight at a time. Subscribe and activate notifications not to miss the next adventures. This is Fly With Your So back at the airport here in Medina, uh, I already pre-fired the plane, I'm already sitting in and uh, ready to depart. We're going IFR again. Uh, I filed a flight plan that basically takes us direct to Linden for the most part. And apparently that's the flight plan that was acknowledged and um, ForeFlight actually got me, sent me a message that it should be the one we expect. So we'll see. But other than that, I'm ready to go here. I'm about to start up and uh, off we go back home. Clear. here and uh, what we're going to do is need to, to call for our clearance but because there's no clearance frequency uh, listed here we we'll have to call them on the phone so I'll try to do that now I don't know that it would actually record so that would be interesting all right let's call them good morning uh, this is Grumman 9984 uniform on the ground at Medina 1 go 5 looking for, to pick up our IFR clearance to Lima Delta Juliet will be the party runway one niner. Grumman 84 uniform, the 9984 uniform is clear to Lima Delta Juliet as filed. On departure climbing tank 3000, expect 9000 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.35, squawk 4123 and we'll hold for release. Roger, we're clear for release and upon departure proceed direct uh, Sierra Tango Whiskey and uh, we'll contact departure and uh, climb 3000. Thank you very much. All right, we're ready for release. Medina traffic, room at 9984 uniform is taking runway 19 for immediate departure. We'll be a left crosswind departure to the east, Medina. Your bump is on, landing lights on, mixture is full rich and here we go. Clear, 
uh, Cleveland departure, good morning, Roman 9984 uniform off of Medina, 105, climbing 3000. Uniform Cleveland departure, identify maintain 9000. Identify maintain 9000, 84 uniform. 84 uniform, radar contact, half a mile southeast of Medina Airport, Cleveland Austin, where's 3008. 3008, climb maintain 9000, 84 uniform. Alright, we are cleared up to 9000, setting them in the Aspen. And off we go. feet uh, direct Stillwater VOR which is, which is pretty much a straight shot to New York uh, making 144 uh, knots of ground speed so that's pretty good uh, ground speed and up here 9,000 just riding riding the um, the, the tail ones uh, which is the best thing you can do when flying east um, they clear me as filed um, and chance because the Early in the morning, which is my favorite time to fly, the airspace is far less congested. Ch uh, chances are you get more direct routes, so one thing to consider. That's why I always love to fly early in the morning because uh, it's you know less chatter on the radio. Uh, you get to you know find controllers that are less busy, and the airspace is also less congested, so you can pretty much get routed directly to uh, places or get shortcuts whenever it's possible. Uh, it's pretty smooth up here now right now the views are gorgeous the sun is coming up and uh we're about to overfly an overcast layer that's uh i believe it's like six, six thousand feet it's uh contained in a small area here in uh eastern ohio we'll soon cross the border into uh pennsylvania and we're scheduled to arrive in linden at uh 10 40 a.m local which is pretty, pretty good on course for you momentarily All right, so it's time to talk a little bit about the uh, Avidyne IFD 550, which I already had before these upgrades, but were definitely a part of the uh, upgrades throughout the years. Um, I just love it. It's just a fantastic piece of GPS, and it actually does much more than that. So I uh, wanted to walk you through a little bit of the, uh, the, the functions, uh, especially the functions that uh, were added after the 10.3 uh, software upgrade. Um, Overall here, you ha what you have is a synthetic vision, Eight, which... 10 contact, you know, 132.17. The synthetic vision, uh, basically, uh, you know, paints a 3D picture of the Go airspace, contact, New York terrain, and uh, terrain and uh, traffic around you, Thank uh, you which is, which is uh, pretty cool. As of now, the, the airspace is so, and, and the, the, the area is so uh, quiet that, uh, you know, you won't see anything there. But you can see a little bit of the... Uh, the, uh, the terrain represented there. All of the other uh, information that I have here are data blocks that are uh, customizable by the user and uh, this is the setting that I currently use. So I obviously have COM1 here with the standby frequency and NAV1 with the standby frequency. Uh, you will identify this, in this case I'm turned into a VOR and uh, you will identify it for you, so Fox Kilo Lima, the radio that you are and the distance to that VOR. So it uh, comes in handy when flying approaches or when you're just trying to, you know, find your way somewhere or to that VOR. It will basically tell you where the aircraft is in reference to that VOR without, you know, the need for calculations or anything like that. Uh, on the other side, this is the, uh, the, the other data block here. Uh, you have the next waypoint, that's the top, the top box there. So we have uh, STW, Sierra Tango Whiskey. Uh, the direct track, the distance, and you tell me that uh, the ETE or is 57 minutes to that waypoint and that I'll reach that waypoint with 23 gallons of fuel remaining in the tanks because it's connected to 
my uh, engine monitor so they talk to each other and uh, that does wonder for fuel planning. Uh, the next data block right below is the nearest, so basically it points to the nearest airports around me and gives me the direct bearing and the distance. So in case I need to do an unplanned landing or uh, you know just deviate uh, for an emergency, I will know the uh, it, I can immediately turn towards that airport uh, before anything else. Um, right below I have the uh, destination ETE. So how long? How long it will take for me to get, you know, to my destination? In this case, uh, one hour and twelve minutes to London. And uh, right below, and I like to keep it that way. You see, minimum safe altitude. It basically tells you what's the minimum safe altitude to fly in this quadrant, uh, uh, based on the terrain, based on on the uh, uh, on the area. So uh, it's basically reflecting what you find on a VFR sectional, but it keeps updating as the plane moves and travels through uh, through the terrain into different regions. Uh, right below I have my ground speed, which is also represented on the Aspen, and my, my true track and my uh, direct track to my destination. Uh, a few other things I have here is the uh, flight timer. So how far, uh, you know, it's just a, a basic flight timer, and my current coordinates. So um, it's, uh, you know, just in case of an emergency or something, I have to report my position. I can simply refer to the Avidine and uh, and it's it's right there for me. American eighteen seventy two contact New York approach one two eight point five five. Now a few other uh, so this is uh, is in uh, synthetic vision mode. Uh, you obviously have the map uh, normal mode where you see much like I have here on the Aspen uh, right there. Uh, and then you also have chart mode in which basically you can pull up any chart from any airport uh, and it will actually uh, show on ship so for instance if you land uh, it will automatically switch to the uh, airport diagram of the, that airport it will show your aircraft um, on that map so on ship you can, access, you can select chart and basically you can pull up any chart from any airport and uh, uh, you know, including approach charts, including departure procedures, landing proce like approach uh, instrument approaches, and everything, and will actually overlay your aircraft position on the chart, which is super, super useful. Challenger Seven Fox Red Echo, contact Cleveland Center one two five point four two. The IFD five fifty comes equipped with a synthetic vision mode, which is this, and I can overlay with my flight plan. I can have my data block here as well. And it works independent from the uh, from the uh, the Aspen. So basically, uh, I can if I have a failure of both of my uh, PFD and MFD, which I can revert to uh, a secondary PFD as well. I can still have an attitude indicator here uh, that you know works independently, so it won't be affected by any failure of any other equipment. So that's uh, uh, you know I have three in total on the aircraft, which is. Uh, comes quite in handy. A few of the nice features added on the software update 10.3 is the ability okay, you. to simulate a visual approach with the addition of a localizer and a glide slope. So if you click procedure and uh, you will automatically go to my destination and display the available approaches for that airport. Uh, in this case for, for Linda there's only the GPS alpha which is a uh, non-precision GPS approach into the airport. But now you see but it also allows me to select Visual 27 and Visual or Visual Runway Niner, and will give you the option to choose left base, right base, uh, straight in, or a 45 entry. It simulates glide slope and localizer that will be reflected here on my PFD and the Aspen, and you basically fly what it would be an instrument approach into the runway. Another nice feature and uh, the way that the Avidine IFD connects with the uh, engine monitor information. So if you go to map map view, and you actually zoom out, you will see two lines here. The green line, the dotted line, is uh, how far I can go with my current fuel uh, plus reserves. So landing within the VFR reserves of 30 minutes. The yellow Number line seven, eight, alpha, Sierra, is my maximum range, north and south on or line, where uh, I would run, the west. run out of fuel. 
and uh, helps you to, you know, stay within oh, no, you don't within the, uh, the limits. Perfect, uh, and that information is fed to, know, so into the avidine by what you're doing. Thank you. the engine monitor. So the way they two talk is uh, pretty cool. Mike Charlie, New York Center. Hello, State College Altimeter three zero one three. All the uh, traffic and weather uh, data. Weather data are fed into the IFD and the Aspen by the Garmin GTX 345 transponder. So it's a ADSB in and out, and it provides the uh, it provides via connectivity uh, information about weather and traffic to the uh, Everdyne, to the Aspen, and even the iPad, which connects via Bluetooth. So it basically becomes the hub and the center of all the information. What you see here, speaking of traffic, you see a traffic mute button. That's new. Basically, you get call out for traffic that's approaching and could be considered dangerous. If that traffic is within one mile or two mile radius, it will keep giving you that call out, traffic alert, traffic alert, and then you can mute it uh, by pressing that button. So once you see the traffic and you are aware of its presence and you can maintain visual separation. And then lastly, um, a cool new feature, um, they had my logo laser engraved in what used to be the airspeed indica indicator slot, and uh, I sent them the logo, they designed, they put it here, and I think it's pretty cool, and in fact, it's actually screwed in, and it's a, it's a flush mount, which means that if this plane belongs to someone else in the future, and they want to remove the logo, they simply need to remove this flush mount here, and replace with another one, blank one with whatever, and then, and then lastly, this is also new, so this Altimeter is the uh, IRO 553 uh, digital clock, and in addition to the digital clock and the uh, Zulu American time, it will also dis it has a CO detector, uh, cabin altitude, and uh, a lot of other functions as well that's cool. And I also added USB ports on both sides, that one is actually in use and they retain the original glove box, which was a nice feature uh, for the, uh, the Grumman. And that pretty much concludes the tour, cockpit tour, of the uh, of 84 Uniform. So basically, you know, a, an upgrade like this uh, basically took uh, 1977 plane and put it in uh, the 21st century. When I got it for uniform, I wanted it to be a solid IFR platform. I had just gotten my instrument ticket and I wanted to be flying something in which my instruments were trustworthy and not prone to failure as the other ones. So um, after two years of upgrades that I took step by step, it for uniform is now finally a solid IFI platform with the Aspen Evolution 2000 plus the IFD 550. This bundle uh, is just fantastic. The, sh the, uh, the handshake is, is, is awesome. And uh, the amount of just information and data that I have in front of me right now and uh, the, the situation awareness is uncomparable to, to what it was before. Uh, in We're addition, the engine the monitor just changes the way you operate, you know, the aircraft. Uh, you start, you know, you, you, you get smarter with temperatures, get smarter with fuel consumption. You save money on the long run, and uh, ultimately you are just extending the life of your engine and uh, making it also safer as a result. Amazing. I'm so, so happy with this plane and uh, just, just like today, I can't wait to start flying this plane and using all of these features across the country. Wilkes Bad Approach, good morning, from a 9984 Uniform 9000. Roman 9984 Uniform, Wilkes Bad Approach, set to maintain 5000. 3011, set to maintain 5000, eight five hundred. All right, we'll be down to 5000. November 84 Uniform, Mend Altitude, Descent Maintain 6000. 6000, And Grumman 84 Uniform, I have a amendment to your route, if I was ready to copy. Go ahead. Grumman 84 Uniform, you are cleared to the Lima Delta Juliet Airport via Foxshot Juliet Charlie, Sierra Bravo Juliet, direct, Descent to Maintain 6000. 84 uniform is clear to Lima Delta Juliet via Foxtrot Juliet Charlie, Sierra Bravo Juliet, then direct, Santa Maintain 6000. November 84 uniform, read back correct. Thank you. That's Foxtrot Juliet Charlie, then Sierra Bravo Juliet.
get an indirect. All right. To the sandy 6,000 feet. Four uniform contact Allentown approach one two four point four five. Good day. One two four forty five. Good day. Allentown approach. Good morning. Grumman nine 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 eight four uniform level six thousand direct. Fox Road Julie Charlie. Nine nine eight four uniform Allentown approach. Altimeter three zero one two. Clear direct Solberg. Just trying to maintain five thousand. Down to five thousand. Clear direct Solberg. Be fine. Far. So we just got an amended route um, halfway, or more than halfway actually. They dropped me down to 6,000. That's likely because at 9,000 and going direct to the Stillwater VOR, I would start conflicting with the uh, inbound traffic for New York, uh, traffic coming from the north. Um, they rerouted me through two different VORs, but I just got into uh, with Allentown and they cleared me direct to the second one that's sober which is an airport that's like roughly 30 miles west of uh, Linden. So we're almost home, we're almost there. Smooth flight so far. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous day to fly. Number 8, four uniform contact, New York approach, 128.55. 128.55, Number 8, four uniform, instead of maintain 4,000. Then we the Automated weather observation. One, four, three, zero, Zulu, weather, wind, two, six, zero, at seven, visibility, one, zero, seven, thousand, scattered, temperature, two, three, Celsius, dew point, one, seven, altimeter, three, zero, one, one, and New York, Roman 8 for your uniform. We'll go ahead and cancel IFR at this time. We'll descend to 2,500 feet and we'll stay below the Bravo at all times. We're going to appreciate that. If our cancellation received, and uh, just keep a little Roger that. Thank you very much for the help, and you guys have a nice day. We're going to forward to search terminate the squawk via fire frequency change approved. The squawk via fire frequency change approved. Take fine. Thank you. Alright, so we just cancelled our IFR flight plan, descending 2,500 feet, proceeding directly to Linden, and it'll switch frequencies. Linden traffic, Roman is 3 miles southwest of the field, joining the left downwind runway 27, full stop, Linden. We are updating the fields, almost updating the numbers there. Final is clear, traffic pattern is clear. Start our descent. Traffic on your one finger papa, two and a half miles to the south, entering downwind for runway 24 wind. Rousel traffic at 2936, turning out right across the runway 29. Rousel. With the traffic room, starting left base for 27. Final is clear. Four hundred. Linden traffic room is starting. Final runway two seven. Full stop. Linden traffic.
up. Probes, fuel pump, landing line off. Linden traffic, Roman Star and clear, runway uh, 27. Linden taxi back to the headers. All right, we're back home. What a gorgeous morning flight we had this morning. All right, so we're back home and safely back to Linden. And I just want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope this was a good insight into the upgrades that I made on 84 Uniform, uh, the capabilities of these avionics and these new systems. And uh, above all, I just hope that uh, it was fun to tag along with me on this Grumman fly-in, meet some of the Grumman fellow um, aviators and uh, get a little tour of the uh, Liberty Aviation Museum, which is fantastic. And by the way, I highly recommend that you visit. So um, here we are back home. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. And I can't wait to take you on the next adventures with Aid for you and for whatever they may take us. I see you all in the next video. But until then, be safe, blue skies, and day winds. Thanks all. Thank you.